CBC Music in the lobby of the Fairmont Palliser in Calgary, Alberta, and I just ran into, ran into another songwriting hero of mine, Eric Bachman. Hi, Eric. Hey, how are you? I'm well, I'm well. You just did a, a great uh, Crooked Fingers set at Broken City. It was very fun, yeah. Was... Hey, now, you were the secret guest. Yeah. How does that feel? Have you ever been a secret guest before? I don't think I have been a secret guest. I don't think so. If I have, it's... it was a long time ago. <laughs> and... Uh... My brain is not, it got, it's got about three years of uh, memory and then it cuts off. It right. Anymore, so. But did you feel mysterious uh, getting on stage? I, I feel mysterious anyway, yeah. <laughs> not in a good way. More, uh, yeah, I feel all right, actually, yeah. Yeah, it's good. Do you have any particular relationship with this city, uh, Calgary, Alberta? Like, uh, does it loom large in, in any way in your memory I, banks? Uh, I actually like Calgary quite a bit. But I've only played here maybe four times or five times. I do remember in the Archer's days, we played here, and I think we had played three shows before we got here to like seven people, and then 12 people, and then nine people. And then we played in Calgary, and it was a great crowd and a, a great group of people. And I, like the promoters, like the promoter Andrew at the Broken City guy, I've known him, Broken City, that guy's really nice. I've seen, known him for, you know, I don't see him every, but every 10 years, but mm -hmm. he's really great. And Evan's great, he puts on Sled Island. And, so I like the people here, genuinely like them. And genuinely, generally speaking, when you're at a festival or a, like North by Northwest is awesome, Trevor Sullivan's good. But generally speaking, there's not a face to the promotion of it. You know, there's not a person. So right, because they're so massive. Yes, yeah, so massive. Something like North by Northeast, like it's hard to know exactly. Yeah. Who to talk to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're doing double duty here uh, this week. You you just played as Crooked Fingers. You've got the Archers of Love show tonight. Yep. Uh, is it? tricky to sort of switch between the two modes at all for you as the singer and songwriter? Yeah, I, 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 can't, uh, I can't actively think. I have to just sort of uh, just not think and, and just sort of do let muscle memory do everything. Because mm -hmm. if I think about lyrics or I think about what line comes next, I, I generally mess it up. It's good to have a cocktail before or three before to, uh, to keep your brain from moving too fast. Sure. So that's kind of the way I, I approach it, is just sort of don't think too much and drink, which right. is bad when you go back to the other side of it, like tour managing and doing the accounting and all this stuff. And you got to kind of, oh yeah, now you got to be with it. You got to. So it's kind of a. That's more difficult than going back between archers and crooked fingers. So you are wearing more than even the two hats I described. You've got a couple of different hats going on. Well, I'm tour managing the whole thing, yeah. So, um, but we like to have it close, keep it close. The whole band, obviously, they trust me and I trust them, and it's just nice to have have it all right kind of mafia that way right uh, well finally I spoke with Matt uh, Gentling of Archers of Love just a couple weeks ago and you know inevitably when these reunion things happen uh, fans just want to know if there's even more coming if there's anything yeah, I'd love to do it I really it's it's, uh, it's busy and uh, we get asked that a lot and uh, I love Matt, Mark and Eric and I think it'd be great to work with them again creatively so but I, I would like to so that said, when are we all going to be in the same city? Because before we were living in the same town, it's what we did together. Now we're all living in different cities, and it's a matter of organizing it properly. Hmm. So we'll see. I, I know that it won't happen this year. It won't happen right away. But if it was to happen, it's just we need a little time to let it do it properly. Because you don't want to have this thing where people, 20 years later, still want to hear the things you did 20 years before, sure. 15 years before, and then do something not... not up to par, you know, you want to do it, do a good job. So. so the legacy, in some ways, does it's on your mind a little bit. In terms so, of I don't think it's on the other three's, three, their mind. I don't think they give a shit. <laughs> I, would, I would be lying if I didn't say it was on my mind. I wouldn't even call it a legacy. I just don't want to make something rushed. That's all. Okay. That's not, it's not about legacy, really. It's, okay. I just want to do good work. Well, I saw the band last week in Toronto, North by Northeast. I'm looking forward to seeing you again tonight. It's just a huge honor that you're around. and We, we have a blast doing it, so thanks, thanks Thank for you. allowing us to do it. We, we really like doing it, so. Eric Bachman of Crooked Fingers and Archers of Loaf uh, on CBC Music. More to come from Sled Island. Thanks again, Eric. Thank you.